Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna do all bookish things. I'm gonna be transforming my already transformed bookshelf. I'm gonna give you guys a book haul. I'm also gonna give you a tour of my book journal. And lastly, I'm gonna share with you guys a big surprise at the end of the video. So stay tuned. But for now, let's start with transforming the bookshelf. This time, I actually got some spray paint and I'm pretty sure this color is better than what color it is right now. So first of all, I'm gonna remove all the books from the bookshelf. Here you go. Now we can see how bad this is. And also how dusty there's... I need to clean this up first and then spray paint it. But for that, I need to go outside. Here we go. Don't mind the cars. Now let's clean this thing. Damn. But now it's better. Now let's open the spray paint. Okay, let's try. Oh my gosh, guys. Here's how it's looking so far. My finger hurts so much. While waiting for it to dry, let me show you all the books that I have that are new. So basically, let's do a book haul. I've showed these books in previous videos or I might have already read them, but these are all recent books that I haven't fully properly addressed them before. There are four books, so let's just get started. First of all, I have The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue. I bought this book because the cover is so pretty and the illustrations inside of it is so pretty. I've never owned a special edition book before, so this is very pretty and um, I made a full TikTok video about it unboxing it anyway it's a very pretty book and i love this so much next up is a book that i actually won during a writing competition so my school had this writing competition where you had to write like a short novel like a short story and i also posted that one on tiktok but yeah i basically won this book it's called the storm keepers island I personally never heard of this book before, but um, it looks very interesting. I just love like how the chapters look. Either way, I was very proud of my writing, so this is just like a trophy to show that I actually did a good job. It's a very pretty cover too. Next up, I bought this book, which is Reckless. I bought this because I'm obsessed with the series, you guys. I've already read this book and let me tell y'all, I'm so obsessed. You can see that this is very deeply annotated. Realistically, I do like the first one more than the second book, Powerless More Than Reckless, but I'm very excited for Fearless that is coming out next year. This was like a 4.5 star book or a 4 star book. Last book is a book I got for my birthday which you would have seen in the birthday haul, but my f my friend got, got me it and it's called Every Last Suspect. I also ended up reading this one and it was very interesting. And the ending was crazy. And it's, I don't want to say any spoilers, but I just did not guess it at all. The ending was very um, interesting to say the least. Yeah, and these are all the books that I've got that are new. I read I read these two, I'm in the middle of this one, and this one I'm still gonna start. This is a murder mystery, this is a fantasy, and this is a fantasy book, and this is a fantasy book. But yeah, I'm so grateful for all of them because they're so fun. Now the bookshelf is all dry, I did spray paint most of it, but there were some parts that weren't sprayed, and that's because... I ran out of spray paint basically um, but without further ado here is the bookshelf with the books and fully completed so yeah as you can see it is pretty splotchy there's a lot of places that would have been better but I did run out of spray paint and either way this is way better than how it looked in the beginning 
I might buy more, but at this point, I'm just happy with how it looks. Because honestly, it's not that bad. I don't know this, but I actually have a book journal. So basically, a journal where I keep updates of all the books that I've read, all the books that I want to read, and so on. Here is the front page. And first page we have is the TBR, which stands for To Be Read. As you can see, there is a lot of books that I haven't been able to read yet. And here is a series tracker. As you can see, I finished the Shatter Me series and the Selection series. Um, and there's a series tracker too. Yeah, I did not make much, much progress with these. Anyway, here's my bookshelf, guys. Here's my tiny bookshelf of all the books that I've read. You can see the overview. Most of these are very hard to read because the space is very tiny and the book titles can be pretty big. But either way, it's pretty cute to have a physical representation of all the books that I've read so far. Here are the quotes that I like, but I never finished this one because honestly, I don't know here, so yeah. Here's another TBR. Now all the book ratings. Every single book I've read, I had a book rating to it. As you can see here, I tried using stickers because I fail at like actually drawing out stars. But then the stickers were done, so I had to actually draw them. But as you can see, it progressively gets better. And then there is another series tracker and lastly another book rating. See the last one is the neatest one. And that's what I'm gonna try to continue. And yeah, that's basically it. And lastly, for the big surprise, I'm actually writing my book. My first ever book. I'm personally so excited, you guys. I've had this idea for so long right now. And I'm just taking it one step at a time. I know it's not gonna be perfect. It's my first book. I'm still trying out a lot of stuff. But I'm gonna make sure it's perfect enough for me. And hopefully that would be good for you guys. I will share my progress and I am planning to share some quotes, some sneak peeks, and so on. So if you follow me on TikTok, you might see more of those. But till now, all I can say is that I'm writing my first draft and so far I'm on chapter 4. I have about like 6,000 words. So I'm still in the beginning, I'm still planning to finish the first draft and start editing it before actually revealing the title, what it's about, and the cover page. I'm still planning the publishing stuff. As much as I'm gonna love it, you're gonna love it, because when you love something so much, other people kind of love it too, you know? If you want to see what my writing style is like, you can see on my TikTok page the story that won me the writing competition for letting me win the book that I showed you in the video. So yeah, I have that posted. And I'm so grateful for every one of you who are supporting me and who are gonna read the book or maybe just support me and motivate me enough to finish the book because as much as it's fun to write there are days that I just don't write anything that I feel so I don't know like demotivated so definitely having you guys having some support is pretty awesome but that's it thank you guys so much for watching if you stayed at the end of this video comment down below the typer emoji because I'm starting my new book and stuff but that's it thank you guys so much for watching bye